I once heard Casey Neistat say this. I'm here, all of my dreams and aspirations are here, and the only thing in between these two is a bunch of work. So tackling that work is a way of moving this needle. Today I want to prove this point by learning to walk on a slack line. Hey, you only get like a nugget of time to really pursue the things you care about. And my rule is that the right time is always right now. You know, I've been following my dream of becoming a YouTuber for now seven years. And yet, I still haven't accomplished it. I'm still working on it most of the days. Technically speaking, if I work long enough, I'll be able to go from the beginning tree to the goal, which is the other tree, just by walking on a slack line. Honestly, at the beginning, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. But the slack line shakes so much, I have no balance, and on top of that, I couldn't do two steps on it. Suddenly, I got this fear of falling. What if I fall so badly that I can't get up anymore? Always first to the finish line, first to the plate when it's dinner time. This is gonna be harder than I thought, but I think I can do it. This is you, and here are your dreams and aspirations and all that stuff. What stands between you and your dreams and aspirations are obstructions. I kept on trying over and over again, and I started to see some progression. But around the middle, the slack line moves so much. It was so hard. But then I figured, when it starts to shake, I just have to keep on walking like it's not shaking. Confidence, baby. I just have to assume that the next step will fall on the rope. And if it doesn't, I'll just have to try again. I think that it's always the toughest times in your life that define who you are, much more so than the easiest times or the best times. So when I look back and I see all sort of the pivotal moments in my life, it was always the struggle. It was always the failure that motivated me. Often working to achieve your goals feels like walking on a slack line. It feels so unstable. Sometimes a little blow of air could make you fall and you have to start all over again. Yeah, you keep on progressing, but you keep on falling before getting to the end. But if for a second you look at the bigger picture and realize that you're actually moving forward, even if you're falling all over again, you'll realize that soon enough, as you keep on persisting, you might one day get to the end of the road. Maybe two hours to do this, but I did it. <laughs> yes, you can do anything with enough work. If you know what you want to do, no big deal. You just commit your entire life to doing it and you'll either get really close or you'll die trying.